Good morning beautiful people. Today I have a bunch of things that I need to get done that I typically won't wouldn't be doing including homeschooling and all that so you saw my list and let's see if I can get all this stuff done. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sade. I'm a homeschool mom to five children. They are eight, five, two, and six month old twins in two days. So um, it is, let me see what time it is. It's 8.51, the twins need to eat at 8.30. So I'm on a, well, I'm sorry. The twins need to eat at like 9.30, 10 o'clock. Um, I have my monitor out here so I can hear them. Um, Jesse's currently working on a water bead activity. The And um, they're gonna come outside in a little bit to help me probably or to play at least. But um, I'm gonna clean the water table and I'm gonna clean their little picnic table. And um, Jessie also has a science project out here that she needs to um, record. So we're gonna do a little bit of homeschool, but more like cleaning. So come along if you wish. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content and subscribe to my channel. All right, this is what their water table is looking like. And this is what their little picnic table is looking like. And we're about to clean it up. There's her science project right there. Why don't you put it on daddy's grill while we're cleaning? And don't forget to take a picture of it. Okay. All right, it's 921. The twins are still sleeping. So I'm going to knock out this little laundry, change my shirt, and then hopefully the kids are still playing outside. So we'll see how that goes. like I finished up just in time I hear Samari kind of cooing a little bit so I'm gonna might be a little bit more than cooing I'm gonna put away these clothes real quick and then I'm gonna go grab her because it is time for them to eat <laughs> little miss sunshine is up and ready to be changed i am changed well i didn't change i just put on a um <clears throat> sweatshirt because it's a little chilly in our house and my shirt ended up drying while i was pulling clothes so i'm not gonna waste clothes if you know what I, if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about i don't want to add to the laundry pile <clears throat> but anyway i'm about to i'm just looking at her look at herself in the mirror I am about to feed them and then we'll get started with our day. My goal is to get everything done before lunch or at least before we go to the park. Um, probably we'll take them to the park at some point today. So, there's little Miss Sunshine. Say hi. I guess she's not in the mood for talking. She wants to be changed and she wants to eat. Samari's still sleeping. I mean, Samar, yes. Samar is still sleeping, so we are, I'm going to um, go ahead and get started with those things I told you I was going to do. The twins are ready to eat. Nom, 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 cleaned out the kids outside toys realized it's a crack in one of them so we need to get a new one um they played a little bit go to laundry fed the twins 
and now I am going to um, I need to put some timestamps on a video that I posted and probably create a meal plan I also remember that today this week is our Sabbath so also remember that this week is our Sabbath so that means we are having um, basically half days this week and our, our main focus is just phonics and a little bit of math and then we'll work a little bit with Donovan if possible, but I'm not gonna be like stressed about it. I also need to make like a like a loose schedule of what we're doing now because <clears throat> the twins are eating now and it's kind of I need to piece I need to get the twin schedule down and then piece everyone else in. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. But right now I'm just about to work on timestamping this video. All right, so I have um, I'm about to create a schedule and then I did a timestamp for the video. Kids are currently eating a snack and it is 11 11. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a plan with hours on the side and the kids, all the kids on the this way. So we'll do um, they get up around seven, so I'm gonna say six. Oh Lord. And they go to bed about eight, but I'm gonna put here until nine. So now what I'm gonna do across the top is I'm going to hit um, put each child, so I'm gonna put the twins together. So twins. Cause they're gonna be first and we're gonna make our schedule around them. Then I'm gonna put Jessela. Donovan, can you go get, um, can you go get Samara? And Benjamin. Okay. And maybe I should put me here. Just in case there's anything I need to do. So I'm going to be getting up. Okay, so my goal, probably not going to happen, but if it does happen, this is going to be like, I'm going to get up at 6. And I'm going to try to... Can you guys see that? There we go. Um, this is going to be me getting ready. Probably not going to get ready, but maybe just start some chores and have quiet time for me. Quiet time. All right. The twins do get up consistently. They've been getting up consistently around seven. So they're going to eat. And then they usually go back to sleep until it's time for them to eat again. So um, let me get a different color. And they sleep until about 9.30, so. To sleep. All right, so. Now, once they wake up, then they are usually hungry. And I feed them. Um, they're going to have food and they have a bottle. So that takes a, a good, let's say 30 to 45 minutes. So until about 10, I'm just gonna give myself an hour. So I'm not rushing. This is, they're gonna eat again. Um, right now they're up. So I would say they, so they'll be due to eat again at one. And then they usually take a pretty long nap around this time so I'm gonna say they're gonna stay so
to four. And this is all just guesstimate. They're not, it's not really like specifically, but they do end up taking a pretty long gap around this time. All right, so then around this time, they're back up again and they eat again at seven. And then they're asleep. So usually they're like up and sleep. They take pretty short naps around this time. So they usually sleep for the night um, about 7.38. So we're going to say sleep. Okay. So now that I know their sleep windows, this is going to help me with um, figuring out what to do, how to schedule the other kids. So while they're taking their nap, I also would like this to be Benjamin's nap time. So he typically goes down about 12, 31 o'clock, which is, this is, this has been pretty consistent anyway. Um, so we're gonna have him nap. And he naps for about two to three hours. So we're gonna say about 3.30. So then that means everyone's gonna to need to eat at 12. <laughs> so this is everyone's eating window yeah. right here for lunch. It's okay, honey. Okay, so we're going to say everyone's going to eat lunch at this time. Lunch. Okay. Um, so that means I'm going to make lunch <laughs> for me. Make lunch. And I will do that around 1130. All right, this is just a rough draft, so. All right, so now this is our lunch window, so that means where there's no learning happening here. Um, when they are sleeping and napping, this is where we try to get Jessie's bulk of her, um, like, lessons done. So reading and math, if it carries over, but this is when we're going to do reading. So Jessica is going to be reading and actually Donovan's about to start reading as well. So we're going to move both of them into reading during this window. So at two o'clock, that's when they'll do reading. Okay. So then here, after the twins eat, I'm probably going to need to feed everyone else. So that's going to be their breakfast time. Okay. All right, so then we have breakfast and cleanup. And so while I'm cleaning up, I'm going to have them. I'm going to have them after breakfast. They're going to like get ready for the day. So make sure. No. Get ready for the day. Yours is right here, Yours right here. So they're typically, they typically are ready, but this is just making sure like, did you brush your teeth? Did you put on deodorant? Do you have on underwear? Things of that nature. Um, so then, yep. So then the twins are going to, they're going to get ready. And then we have like a little bit of, nope, they're going to play. It'll be free play time. So while the twins are eating, they're going to have free play. I'm done. So they have about an hour of free play. And they can work on different things. Okay. So this window, the twins are like up a little bit, but they're still kind of, eh, you know, they can be around. So we will most likely do our morning stuff. And this is standing up. Which includes Bible. Um, Science, history, and like our morning calendar and things of that nature. Okay, so then 
and I will try to squeeze in math. Like the hope is math, because math doesn't take that long. So I'm gonna put a question mark for math. If not, math can roll over into this like time where they're taking a nap. Um, but yeah, that's what we do here. So then once that's done, we'll do lunch and then they'll eat Benjamin's napping, they'll go to sleep and we'll do reading for both of them or specific instruction for both of them, whatever leads, takes whatever takes us. Okay, twins, then they will, they're going to eat here, but this is also a big eating window because they have to, um, they'll eat like regular food in a bottle. So they're going to eat here. And then after that, I'm going to start dinner. So dinner for me. Then they're going to eat. And then at seven, that's when they get in the bath. And they go to bed. And then we'll probably do a read aloud. So then the twins also eat and sleep during this time. So yeah, that's what our schedule is looking like. It's a bit much, but I feel like it's doable. And then if we are, like say if it's a summer, summer day, we can feed them here feed them here and then this will be if it's a I'm gonna write summer I'm just gonna put summer we're gonna follow everything but then this would be our block of window so like lunch summer every, all of our activities should probably be between this time period that's when we'll be out and have lunch when we get back but this is our outing time. So if we go to the library, if we go to the pool, if we go to the splash pad, if we go to the to the park or anything, this would be like our optimal time to, I know summer is with two M's. <laughs> this would be our optimal time to be out after they have their second feeding. But, yep. That is our schedule. All right, create schedule is complete. And now we are, let's see, it is 11.25. So I should probably start lunch, but I'm also want to, let's see what else I have to do. Drop off library books, vacuum stairs, all the things. Create plan for next six weeks. So I'm gonna drop off library books and then I'll come back and do we'll do lunch that's what we'll do right now It's 1.15, we are about to get started with a little bit of school. So we're just gonna do math and phonics with Jesse and then some letter sounds with Donovan. And then that will end our day. And then I'll get started back with my list of things that I need to do. Today's scripture reading comes from Isaiah chapter 43, verse two. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. They shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. God, thank you for being my protector. Jehovah, Megan, the shield. No one can cover me and protect me the way you do. No one. That's why my faith is in you totally and completely. I confess that I allow fear to keep me from being an authentic disciple outside of my home. Show me how to steward all that you have given me. Show me opportunities in which I can be used as a vessel to make disciples in a gentle and loving way. Thank you for sending your angels before me to cleanse the atmosphere of all spiritual blindness and deafness. 
Only you have the power to change the hearts and minds of man. And I'm submitting my desire to be lifted up to you. I ask that you put it on the cross and crucify it so that it is dead to me and I'm dead to it. I ask for wisdom and discernment in all of my interactions with your people, especially the people in my home. I give your Holy Spirit permission to help me develop healthy relationships and boundaries with others. My desire to be faithful comes at a cost. I ask that you help me be a vessel of honor and love, making it clear that I belong to you, making it clear that your love is greater than anything. Thank you for seeing me, Elvoy. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being with me and never leaving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Right, so we are done with homeschooling. We did phonics and addition facts that stick. Um, that took us an hour. We played bingo two times. And now it is just about time for the twins to eat. She's sleepy. Samara's asleep. Two older kiddos are in the front playing, so I'm about to go outside with them and just watch them play for a little bit. It's almost night time for them, and then I'm gonna heat up some dinner which is just some burgers that my husband grilled yesterday. Yes, I am. And so all we need to do is create a meal plan and then plan the next six weeks. If I don't plan the next six, six weeks, they're fine. I'll do that tomorrow. But creating the meal plan for June is going to be like the thing that I need to do tonight. But, um... There we go. That way it's not backwards. So yeah, all, I need, all I'm really focused on tonight is just making sure I get my meal plan done for the month of June. And I'll plan for the next six weeks starting tomorrow, I guess. All right, so I'm about to start some dinner. I'm gonna heat up, well, I'm gonna cook some sweet potato fries and heat up the burgers and also feed the twins. <laughs> so they are hungry. While I was feeding the twins, I also was frying some french fries. Hopefully these are not gone. A little cold, okay. And heating up the burgers from yesterday. So now I'm about to plate up everybody's. I'm gonna stick these in the oven for a little bit. Let them get warm while I make the, heat up the burgers. I'm gonna heat me up a veggie burger, but I'm gonna do it if I make everyone else's plate. So I just wrote here uh, what we're having from the previous month. All right, stop. Because my goal is to not repeat anything on this page. So I have two years of June less. Um, okay, sh I have two years of June meal plans from my old planners, and then I also found this on Pinterest about two years ago. So. If there's something, yeah, 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 like yeah, I think yeah, one yeah. of them didn't have a June. So I'll look on here for an idea or look on these old ones. This was like from Pinterest. Then, um, so yeah, so I try not to do like chicken back to back. I try not to do beef back to back. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let me let me tell them about this and then we can cuddle some more. All right, so what we're having for the month of June is... Stuffed peppers, sesame chicken, which is just, it's a seasoning that I use. Um, 
mac and cheese broccoli, taco nacho night, sausage, peppers, and broccoli on like a, a bun. Chicken fingers, mac and cheese, corn and broccoli, spaghetti. Oh, and that's another thing. I cook. I cook every other day. So the days that there's nothing that I cook. Okay, I'm trying to talk to my friends. Stop. I cook every other day. Um, so that if there's not a day that I actually cook, it's just going to be leftovers from the previous day or whatever they can find. Um, a whole chicken. I'll figure out the sides later. Broccoli. Butter chicken, rice and vegetables, steak, potatoes, and broccoli. This is also Father's Day, so we'll probably do like a big steak, like a tomahawk or something. Um, fried shrimp, cabbage, cornbread, fried potatoes, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, string beans, creamy chicken thighs, rice and broccoli, ribs, pot roast, potatoes, and string beans. And then we're also, we are going on vacation starting on the 30th, so I won't need to cook anything for here. Basically for this week, which is good. So that's all I have for you today. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment box and I'll be sure to answer them. Don't forget to drink your water and repent. Bye.